funeral boot cover. Today, me and you are going to look at how to come up with this funeral boot cover in Adobe Photoshop. So without further ado, let's get into it and see how we can go about it. Alright, so here is the funeral boot cover that we are going to design. You can see everything is here. So when I'm done with everything, I'm going to leave a link that you can use to download this PSD file and also use it in your workflow. So you can see that here is the inside I have started with. So, but I am not done with it. So when I'm done, I'm going to upload it on the digital store. When you search on Google or template face tag, you are going to have access to these files and you also use it in your workflow. So without further ado, Control Plus N to open up a new document. Then when we go to print, let's search for A4. Then I'm going to click on this one to rotate it, okay, to make it landscape. If yours was portrait like you just click on the F1 key on your keyboard to, you know, turn it around to make it landscape or portrait. Alright, then from here, Control Plus O to fit everything to screen. Okay, then from here, I'll go to View, and then I'll come to Guidelines, and I'm going to select a new guide layout. I'm going to uncheck this one, and then check on margin so let's increase this figure and see what we are going to use so let's go with 0 0.05 this is too much so 0 0.03 so let's run this figure all throughout so this is going to be the margin so when we are designing you make sure that the design is not going to um, so when you are designing, you are going to make sure that important information is not going to be on these clicks because when you print it out and you are going to cut it, okay, it can, you know, cut off some information. So that's why we are making this. Then from here, we can activate the root tool. So if you don't have it, just click on the arrow to activate. So from here, we are going to move a ruler from here and move it to the center. So when you hover over the center like this, it's going to clip for you. Or if you are finding it difficult, you can just duplicate this layer. Let's click and drag this one here, okay, to make a duplicate of this. And you can see the point over here, that is the center. And boom, when you are done, you can delete it. So it will help you create the center. Then from here, we can also move another wheelers over here, just like this. But if you don't have this wheelers panel over here, just go to view over here. And then let's go to Willis, and you are going to have so control plus how to activate or deactivate the Willis. Then from here, let's start by creating this background in Photoshop. Okay, so first of all, let's start from here. So with this one, I'll go to my source file. By the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to have access to this information. So I'll click and drag this one in Photoshop just like this. And I'm going to reduce the opacity because it is too much. And also, I'm going to create a brown new layer on top. Or you can just create, or you can just add a layer mask on this one. And then with the help of the brush tool over here, you can click on B or come here and you select the brush tool. So when you select the brush tool, you can just, you know, use the rulers, use the square bracket on our keyboard to, you know, make it small or big and reduce the opacity at the top here and you can just click on a place that you feel that it is too much okay so that it's going to reduce some portion of it so when i hold the shift key and click on this you can see it was too much but now it is settled okay then from here with the help of the rectangle tool over here we are just going to click and drag this just like this and then I'll go to FX over here and add a gradient overlay, okay? So let's add a gradient overlay. So this is the gradient we are going to add. Let me open the gradient panel and I'm going to move all the way down. I have this gradient I would like to add. So let me open the first color code for you guys to see. This is the first one and the second one, okay? So you will duplicate this one here and duplicate this one here last one okay then for me i'm going to change the angle of this so let's change to something we are going to feel it's okay so let's go with something like this okay so when you are satisfied you click on okay 
so you can see the same thing goes on here then from here all right so from here i'll go back to my source files and i'm going to click and drag this into photoshop and i'm going to move and i'm going to leave it over here then with the help of the ellipse tool let's draw something like a circle a circle not something like a circle okay just like this and i'm going to move this one a bit down just beneath this layer okay so that it's going to hide that then from here let's go back to our source files and click and drag this into photoshop reduce the size and let's move this one also so this is called layer management in photoshop i have a video about it so if you don't know how to manage your layers maybe i'll leave a link up here okay for you guys to check it out so from here i will right click on this one and create a clipping mask so from here i'm going to change the blending mode of this one from normal to luminosity to make it black and white but you see this one is green because this one is what green so let me change this one to white to help me make it black and white as i wanted it okay then from here we are going to add our information over here so i'm going to write appreciation so let's change the font of this one to this one okay if you don't have this font please you can download it from google okay so let's select that and uh, to give us this effect then also with the help of the test tool i can just click and then let me change this font back to monsari okay so this is the font i would like to use reduce the size so when i come here i have my test that i would like to add so i'll copy this one and come and paste it so if you just click once and then you paste it it's going to be too long so what i'm going to do is that uh, instead of just clicking once and pasting we are going to click and drag okay so click and drag to draw a bounding box that when it just come and hits that it's going to start again okay i don't know how to explain it but that is the easiest way i can explain it to you all right then let's reduce the size of this and also the interval okay so i'm using the properties panel but you can also use the character panel to achieve this if you don't have any of those just go to window over here okay and then when you come here you see panel or you can see properties over here to activate it just like that okay then let's paste this one in so this is it and uh, let's reduce the size a bit just like this and increase this one to let's say 70 so let's reduce the size a bit just like this so let's see this is how you can go about the back okay so from here let's move on to the front okay so let me move this one a bit up and i think the image too i would like to move this one a bit up just like this all right so with the front tool with the help of the pen tool we are starting with the pen tool okay so this is the pen tool i'm going to use then i'm going to click and drag to draw a shape just like this okay and then let's come all the way down here close it then uh, when you are done just come and click on this guy over here to make a shape okay so let's make this one let's see all white we are not going to see anything so let me make it gray then let's make a copy of this one so let's click and drag this one to the plus sign over here to make a duplicate of this you can equally click on ctrl j to make a copy you can also click on ctrl plus c and ctrl plus v to copy and paste okay then let's move one a bit on top just like it and move that one a bit down then from here we can copy the gradient that we pasted on this one to right click on this one you see copy the layer style and let's come here and let's paste the gradient on it so paste the gradient on it and let's change this one back to white okay so you can see this is what we are going to do and this is what we have done so far so from here we can uh, select the down one on and just shift it a bit small like this okay just a tiny small like this to you know create some illusion in it okay so you can just spend some time to find it in this a bit better okay then from here i'll go back to my source files and i'm going to click and drag my image into photoshop 
Sorry, I have already removed the background. But if you don't know how to remove a background in Photoshop, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to have access to that. Okay, so let's reduce the size and I'm going to move it all the way down just like this. And also let's move this one a bit down just like this. Okay, so you can see basically we are about to finish this one. We have to add nurses in loving memory. So you can see it over here in loving memory. Just simple as ABC. So with the help of my test tool, we can start typing. And also I would like to type the memory on a different layer. And also with this one, let's change the font to a font called Afterglow. So with this font, when you come and open the grants like this, you can see we have M. You can see that we have M with designs over here. So when I come all the way down here, where is M? So we have M somewhere here. So when I double click and select the M and click on it, you can see the designs have started showing. Okay, so I'll pick something like this. Or uh, let's do a bit better. Okay, let's use this one. And this is what we are going to get, just like that. All right, then for me, let's make this one a bit bigger, just like this, okay? And bring this one here. And I'm going to apply another gradient overlay on this one as well to make this illusion, okay? And let me get a copy of this, make it a bit small. And type in, in love memory of the lead. Bring it a bit closer and select all of them. And we can align this one to the center. Okay, then from here we can also bring her name over here. So quickly let's type that. All right, then from here with this one too, I'm going to change the font and use the font called Atom and make this one a bit bigger, just like this. Then I'm going to change the font of this one as well. So let's use photography for this one as well okay then control t for free transform and i'm going to make this one big like this okay and let's position this one here and if the person has other name we can also add it as well all right let's change this one to Anton as well and let's bring this one here as well okay okay so when you are done you can select all of them by holding the shift key to help you. So when you select this one, you go down the shift key and you select the other ones as well and you can make the test a bit bigger, just like this. Then from here with all of them selected, control plus G or you can just click and move this one to the group over here. Or just click on control plus G to group them. And let's go back to our source form. I'm going to use this gold background and reduce the size just like this. Then I'm going to right click and create a clipping max. Okay, so create a clipping max and let's move it a bit up just like this. Okay, so let's select both of them, all of them, okay, and make it a bit bigger just like this. And also, uh, we can add this background here as well. So we can move this one. Let's move this one all the way down just like this. Okay, and reduce the opacity. Add the layer max like we did the first time. And reduce some of this portion. Make sure you have your flow or opacity here a bit down. Okay, just like this. And also select this one. Let's add the same thing. But this time around, let's create a clipping max. Okay, so right click. And let's create a clipping max and reduce the opacity. Let's add the layer max, and with the help of the graph tool, we can reduce the effect on this one. Then from here, the last thing to do is to bring in this flower. I'm going to position the flower over here, and let's add the age. Okay, so age. I'm going to use the 
ellipse tool to draw a rectangle to draw a circle instead. Let's reduce the size just like this and add a gradient overlay on and add a gradient overlay on top. So let's paste the layer style, control paint, copy, and also reduce the size of this. And with this one, and with this one, we can come here, make a copy of this one. So let me bring something like this here. And let's make a copy of this. Okay. So let's move this one all the way here. So I'm going to move this guy here. Create a clipping mask. Increase the size a bit and we can just add the eight over here. So 79. Increase the size and change the color. So guys, basically this is how you can go about this Funeral Poster design in Photoshop. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't and also like, comment and let me know what you want to see next on our channel. Until next time, keep creating and never give up. I'm out. Right. I don't